So since we all had a good taste of playing the Halo Infinite Tech Preview for 3 days straight and Tier 43 have only given us uh, 3 maps which is Live Fire, Recharge and Bazaar. However in this video I want to talk about one of the Halo Infinite maps uh, specifically and that is the Bazaar map. So stay tuned throughout the video. Now when I first played on the map Bazaar I had a great time playing on this map, it's my favourite map so far, but a lot of players have been despising this map because according to them, T43, you know, apparently took inspirations from one of the Call of Duty maps or, or you know, C CSGO map, and uh, a lot of players hate this map for that reason. And hey, you guys might not be wrong about that, you know, it probably does look like one of those maps that you see from other games, you know, I could see myself. But it doesn't mean T43 intentionally wanted to, you know, copy one of those maps from uh, Call of Duty or, or Counter-Strike. A lot of people are complaining about on how T43 are copying from other games. Uh, that's not their end goal, you know, if we all look back at Halo 2 mission called, uh, you know, The Outskirts and, and the map named District and Turf, uh, this is where T43 actually took inspirations from. Uh, they, take, they took inspirations from Bungie design. And remember, the map outskirts district and turf takes place in uh, Mombasa city. And it's the same thing with the bazaar map, which also takes place in Mombasa city, right? These uh, four maps are set in Africa and the art style was supposed to look old and ancient almost. You know, it's supposed to look ruined. I feel like a lot of players have forgotten that Halo 2 had the same treatment when it comes to map design. If players are going to end up claiming that, oh, the map bazaar looks and feels like a card, you know, Call of Duty or Counter-Strike map, then they might as well say the same thing about Halo 2, which is, you know, the greatest FPS games of all time, right? On how Outscan Turf is like Call of Duty or Counter-Strike. It's silly, right? I mean, come on, like, seriously, are you guys going to be, you know, going to say all of these uh, Mombasa map, you know, are a huge letdown in Halo 2 because they look like from Call of Duty or CSGO? I mean, come on. It seems players have really forgotten these uh, three Mabaza maps in Halo 2, which is quite sad. I mean, I don't know, you can't really blame them since uh, Halo 2 is a very old game, which was released in 2004. And, and nowadays, there's, there's far way too many FPS games, you know, people are playing. And look, I'm not saying to you guys that the map Bazaar is a perfect map in, in Halo Infinite by any means. No, not at all. That's not, that's not what this video is about. You can love the map or hate it. I'm not stopping you guys. But the point is I'm trying to make here is people shouldn't think that T43 purposely taking inspirations from other games when it comes to map design when they are not even doing that. If anything, the only thing that you know T43 are taking, you know, are trying to take inspirations from is the good old Halo 2. At least that's what they're doing here, you know. Like what they're doing so what they're doing so far. You know, you guys can you know see the footage side by side, they do look alike. But God knows, maybe other maps that T43 haven't revealed yet could potentially look so boring, generic, and maybe Call of Duty wannabe. Uh, we don't know, time will tell, we have to wait until when the game is released. Uh, but so far, what, uh, you know, we've only played three maps in Halo Infinite, and I'm quite happy, honestly, on what we got. Uh, when I first time played, you know, on this map Bazaar, you know, I literally was thinking of Halo 2 outskirts and District and Turf. I, I was getting a lot of vibes, Halo 2 vibes from, from uh, on this map. Uh, oh, and also, I forgot the map. Oh, what's that map, map's name? Uh, it's called uh, Halo, it's called Ghost Town in Halo 3. Uh, that map, which I personally liked, you know, which again, it's a map that's set in a new Mombasa. Uh, anyway, so you have another map in, uh, uh, so, so yeah, you have another map, Mombasa map in Halo 3, which is a, which is set in Africa. Uh, I hope we do get a beta version uh, of Mombasa, you know, for, for uh, 12 v 12 in Halo Infinite with vehicles on the map in Halo Infinite. It will be absolutely chaos. Uh, I'm aware people you know, dislike the map bazaar, and it's not because they think the map plays at Call of Duty or CSGO, it's not even that. It's also actually, you know, people dislike it because it's not really good for 4 versus uh, 4 versus 4, you know, uh, 4 versus 4 Team Slayer. But some say uh, FFA could work, or maybe some objective like King of the Hill, Oddball, uh, and I do see where they're coming from, it, it, it probably will actually suit on those game modes. Alright guys, that's what I have to say in today's video, I know this is a very short video, I just want to get this video out of the way, And but if you guys are new to this channel, uh, be sure to subscribe, comment and like the video, uh, and be sure to follow us on Twitch, uh, because we literally stream Halo every day on Twitch, uh, so yeah, I'll see you uh, Spartans in the next video, bye.